Pearl Jammers is December 2nd and only 24 days till Christmas. Let's start some Christmas conversation. What is on your wish list? Now it doesn't have to be, um, oh, that's not working. It doesn't have to be Barbie or dolls or Monster High at all. I'm just curious what you have on your wish list because you know I love hearing about everything. So today's countdown 24 days Christmas is the 1989 Happy Holidays Barbie and she is unboxed. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is gorgeous. She has immensely special memories for me. Now, my mom and I had a blowout when I was young, and I won't embarrass her telling that story. But um, later in life, when I was about, well, whatever I was in 1988, I don't know, I was 17 or 18, and she said, you know, oh, I just wanted to make up for that little situation we had, and um, maybe she'll tell you about it someday. <laughs> I don't know, you're watching mom? <laughs> and um, she's like, I wanted to make that up to you. And I seen this beautiful Barbie. It was, and she was describing it. I was like, no, it can't be. They don't have Barbies like that. She goes, I wanted to get it for you. I know, but you're older, maybe you don't care. And I was like, well, I had already started collecting some here and there. I was like, go for it, mom. I thought that would be great. And a little bit of just something nice between us. And uh, she did. So this was my first introduction to the Happy Holidays Barbie. I think there's a run of 10 of them before the names actually started changing. And um, I didn't unbox her for a long time. Then I had this awesome curio cabinet sometime in my life and I thought, oh yeah, they'll be dust free. I'll take her out. And I did and I regretted that. I just looked on eBay. These run for about $30 in the box. And um, I'm still gonna debate on that because I love that this is the actual one that my mom got me. And um, I'll never give that away. Obviously, I have never brushed her hair. I have done nothing for her. And considering these were in boxes wrapped in grocery bags for years on end, she's in fabulous um, condition. She's slightly yellowed down here. Look at all these tool layers. This is something I love about this line of dolls. And I'm always excited because all of the material, and y'all know I love material. And um, each year we would get so excited to see what was gonna be, be like near the end of um, the summer. And you'd finally get a peek at what was coming. And uh, I, I love remembering that about me and my mom. And we'd usually go to the store and get it together comes with uh, um, regular saddle sand. I love that that one has the date on it. Her normal shoes, which is so funny. That's something I just adored about Monster High because Barbie's shoes never change very often. Not very often at all. And um, that's one of my fascinations with Monster High and even Ever After High. So that's her. Tell me, would you get, um, get a boxed version? My OCD wants to. Um, there is also a comprehensive list link down below. I found a lady who did a fabulous thing with all, a fabulous list with all of the dolls for the years, even showing differences that some have and some don't have if you're interested. And uh, there she is. I think it's, my mom got me this ornament too for Barbie. And I don't know what year it is. It's gonna be fun to see what year it is. Okay, I think that about wraps it up. Don't forget, tell me what's on your wish list for Christmas. Hope you have a wonderful day and um, see you tomorrow.